Zara and Peter Phillips, Princess Anne's children, shared heartfelt memories of their grandfather the Duke of Edinburgh. The siblings pointed out how interested Prince Philip had always been in technology. Zara Tyndall has recalled Prince Philip's hilarious reactions when presented with a new gadget. As a result, Zara said we'd always try and find him new gadgets for presents. And the Duke, she added, would often have a hilarious reaction after examining them. Repeating oft-used words during a documentary paying tribute to the Duke's life and legacy, Zara said, Well, that's just bloody stupid. Peter also recalled how Prince Philip would sometimes struggle with his printer. He said, I just have memories of him getting a new laptop or a new printer, sitting in his office and hearing him shouting at it. I mean, he loved technology, he loved gadgets, but it was always quite entertaining to see him trying to figure them all out. Couldn't get it to print, or he couldn't get this. The Duke was known for his interest in innovation, engineering, and technology. Following the conflict, he realized how important engineers could be in rebuilding war-torn Britain, and became a keen advocate of the role and importance of engineering in society. Prince Philip became interested in engineering during the Second World War when, as a young cadet, he had to carry out basic engineering tasks. In June 1976, he founded the Fellowship of Engineering which later became the Royal Academy of Engineering, of which he was a senior fellow until his passing. In 2016, he famously expressed his high regard for engineers as he appeared on the BBC Radio 4's Today programme. He said, Everything not invented by God, is invented by an engineer. All children and adult grandchildren of Prince Philip took part in this program, airing tomorrow at 9 p.m. Zara and Peter were among the royals interviewed for the hour-long BBC documentary Prince Philip. The royal family remembers. The documentary, which had initially been planned to mark the Duke's centenary, also includes testimonies from members of Philip's staff, including Alexandra McCreary, his archivist. The Queen did not take part in the documentary, but, the BBC said in a statement, she provided special access to her private signed film collection. Speaking about his office, she said, It's a very practical room. He didn't have the frills. It was just a very efficient way of working. He just cracked on. The statement also said, The documentary makers have been inside Buckingham Palace to meet the Duke's long-serving staff and to capture his study, private office and library, exactly as they were during his seven decades at the heart of royal life. Clips released ahead of the broadcasting shared a light on Prince Charles' last conversation with his father before his death. Princess Eugenie also revealed she had the chance to introduce her son August, born in February, to her grandfather before his passing. Prince Philip died on August 9 at Windsor Castle, a few weeks before turning 100.